good morning today we are going to discuss nested subqueries in the previous class we have been discussing queries which is having only a single select from where clause here you can have nested subqueries that means the result of a query can be passed to another query okay. so the general structure of a select from where statement is select a1 a2 etc to an from r1 r2 etc to r1 where p here a1 a2 etc are attributes r1 r2 etc to r1 are relations of tables and where p this is the condition so here a nested subquery is a select from where expression that is nested with another query that is here we can we can insert suppose that this is the uh, this is a query and in this query you can that means a1 is an attribute a2 is another attribute and etc a n is another attribute now you can a now this a1 a2 etc up to a n this can be replaced by a subquery which return only a single attribute that means if a single attribute is returned by a query then you can insert that here that is one of the insertion point usually uh, in almost all queries or nested sub queries and in our examples uh, such kind of queries uh, not commonly used so the next one is R A can be replaced by any value for it. This R one R two is that. Here instead of this R one, you can have a query. Query always returns a table. So this R one R two is that. Up to R one relationships of tables. So instead of using this table or R one, table R two is that. Up to R one. That means those are all tables or relations. So instead of the relations or tables, we can have a query here. That means instead of this R1, we can have a select from where statement, select from where query. So these are the points. And next is where P. P is a predicate. Here this P can be replaced by P can be replaced by an expression on the form B operation. That means here. B this P can be replaced. This is a predicate, and this P can be replaced by B. B is a single attribute. B is a single attribute, and operation will be defined later. So this is the general structure of. Okay, this is the general structure of a nested subquery. And when uh, we will do some examples with regard to this. Will be will uh, get a clear uh, understanding of this. This is a query, and this is list the names of all instructors who have taken courses in 2018. That means you have to list the names of all instructors who have taken courses in 2018. 2018, those who have taken uh, taken classes. This is one. Class 2018. This is another class, and this is another class. And this class was taken by a person who is having an ID 10101. And this class has been that uh, was taken by a person who was who has ID 12121. And 2018 23231. These are the IDs of the instructors who. Had taken classes in 2018, but as per our uh, this as per the question, you have to publish or you have to list out their names. So the here for example, two, uh, 2018 one zero one. That means uh, instructor with ID one zero one zero one took classes. But one zero one zero one, the name is renewal. That means from this table, you have to take the ID of the instructor who has taken classes in two thousand eighteen, and from this table, you have to select the name name of that uh, that instructor. 
So, uh, in our previous discussion on uh, without using nested queries, you can achieve this by using cross multiplication. But here, what I am going to do is initially from the teachers table, teachers table, I am going to select the ID. That is here select id from teachers select id from teachers where year equal to 2018 year equal to 2018 so from the second table the ids of all inspectors who taught classes in 2018 has been retrieved. That means 10101, 12121, and 23231. All of them must be taken by using this query. Now, I want to take the name of the inspector from this table. So, another, another query is select name from inspector where where now I am going to have where this id that means where id equal to id equal to any one of this id id equal to any from this that means select name from inspector where id equal to any that means select id from teachers where year equal to 2018 it will return 101 10101 12121 and 23231 that means then this outer uh, outer uh, query will be executed for that means this will return 10101 one two one two one and two three two three one. This is the table written by this, and here this is having ID. Okay, so the outer query will be executed like this: select name from inspector where ID equal to any from this. That means so this will be executed for ID equal to one zero one zero one. ID equal to 12121 or ID equal to 23231. So when this ID equal to 10101, it will return that means this is name ID equal to 10101, it will display Srinivas. ID equal to 12121, it will display Einstein. And ID equal to 23231. James. Okay. So that means when you are executing this query, that means this query is inside this query. That means this is in a nested form. This is the parent query and this is the sub query. Okay. So sub query will be executed first and that result is uh, returned after the, uh, that result will be passed on to its parent and like that. So here this is the way this is going to be done. That means so select name from inspector where id equal to any. So here this id is a single attribute and this equal to any. This is a kind of operation. This is an operation. That means this is this should be a single attribute. That should be a single attribute and this is equal to any. So this equal to any can be replaced by in. So we can have select name from inspector where id in. Select id from teachers where equal to 2018. Okay. Then suppose that another query. This is one example and suppose that another query is like this so find out or list out the subjects list the list the courses 
list the courses taken by Srinivas. Say Srinivas. List the courses taken by Srinivas. So here Srinivas is having this ID and this ID is taking one cell also he is taking a course CS for zero one and he is taking another course on zero one zero one CS two two not eight. So the courses are CS two CS four zero one and CS two two not eight. Okay, these are the courses uh, taken by Srinivas. Now what I will do is the connection between this instructor and teachers is using this ID and initially we are going to retrieve the ID of Srinivas. So how that can be done? Select ID from instructor where name equal to Srinivas. Okay, so that ID was returned. Okay, now you are going to take the course IDs. That means select select course ID select course ID select course ID from which table from teachers table teachers table where ID in that means when you are executing this the inner core will be executed first that means select an ID from instructor where name equal to Srinivas done the ID returned by this the, this score is 10101 so when this is executed that means this will return 10101 and when select course ID from teachers where ID in 10101 that means when 10101 is the ID what are the courses 10101 CS401 and 10101 CS2 so that will return a CS401 and CST 208. So these are the courses returned by this correct. So this is another example of using how sum can be sum in set of questions you can use some greater than or less than or the here there is a relation of plus sum. So here list the names of all instructors who is drawing something greater than some inspectors of CSE department that means here all names are qualified except that means here in CSE department uh, seniors is drawing 650,000 and James is drawing 637,000 so all of these all of these persons except Vishnu Vishnu and James and the minimum salary of uh, CC department is 637,000 and those who are drawing salary greater than 637,000 all the instructors who are taking salary greater than 637,000 is qualified here three people are drawing something greater than that senior science team forward so those are the names we have to display so first of all here uh, this is the usual way uh, that means using cartesian product that means here you have renamed inspector as t and inspector as s that means uh, those are duplicates and then t process t process is taken and t dot salary greater than s dot salary that means when you have taken the cross product of these two t dot salary that means first dot salary greater than second s dot salary and s dot department equals csc this question we already discussed in one of our previous classes here this can be replaced by that means select salary from instructor where department name to CSC. That means select the salary from department from instructor where department name to CSC means the salary of all employees belongs who belongs to CSC department will be displayed. So so that will be 
the name of the attribute is salary and you have 650000 and 637000 these are the this is returned by this query and here select the name from instructor from that instructor table itself you are going to select the name of name of those tuples where salary greater than greater than sum that means salary greater than sum that means sum yeah salary greater than sum means not all salary greater than sum for example if you are taking the first tuple 10101 senior csc 650000 so here greater than sum of this means 650000 is not greater than this but greater than this so that is qualified what about einstein in that case 7 lakh 30000 that is greater than both of this and third one hobart it is also greater than both of this and 6 lakh That is under this and is not greater than either of this, and four lakh twenty thousand is also not qualified. So, Srinivas, Einstein, and Hubbard qualified. Srinivas, Einstein, and Hubbard. So, this is an example of how greater than sum. You can have less than sum. So, if you want, if you replace this by less than sum, what what will happen? Less than some only James and Vishnu qualifies because for James this less than six lakh fifty thousand and for Vishnu this less than both of this. It's a all instructors who is drawing salary greater than all instructors of CC department. So in that case you simply do this thing that means salary greater than all salary greater than all. Select salary from instructor where department name in the CSC. This will return the salary of employees who is who is in the CSC department. Six lakh fifty thousand and six lakh thirty seven thousand. Now select name from instructor where salary greater than both of that. Greater than six lakh fifty thousand and six lakh thirty seven thousand. So uh, that Einstein and Hobart is the result. That means this will return what. Six lakh fifty thousand. Six lakh fifty thousand and six lakh thirty seven thousand. And here greater than all means if it has to be qualified. That means if a tuple has to be qualified, it should be greater than the salary field of a tuple should be greater than six lakh fifty thousand as well as six lakh thirty seven thousand. So. Uh, First tuple is not qualified because it is not greater than six lakh fifty thousand. Second is qualified, third also is qualified. So in that case, the result will be Einstein, Einstein and Hobart. Okay, so this is the result. So that's all about all class, all sum, all sum means any one of this, all means everything. Two duplicates of T. Which is T and S. Yes. That means select ID from teachers as T. That means the first duplicate of teachers is T, and the second duplicate is S. Yes. That means you have renamed it as T and S. Same thing, two copies. Okay. Now select ID from teachers as T. From the first table T, you are going to select those IDs where year equal to 2018. That means Here, suppose that this is the first table, and from that table you have selected uh, IDs. You are going to select those IDs which are having year equal to 2018. This one, this one, and this one. And some condition also is there. That means those are those tuples. That means this is the this tuple, this tuple, and this tuple is having year equal to 2018 and There should be other condition, and if this condition is true, and for each of these, this condition should be true. So one zero one zero one. So first case you have to take one zero one zero one. In that case, here is it two thousand eighteen. For this, 
the first tuple. Suppose that this is T dot, this is the table T. And for this table, year equal to 2018, and this should be true. This should be true. That means select R from teachers of T's. That means a copy of this is taken, and some other copy of this is also there. And for that, T dot ID should be S dot ID and S dot year should be 2019. That means there should be some ID which is having the same ID and S dot year should be 2018. That means here for this double, suppose that this also take, this is a duplicate S and in that here S dot ID is same as T dot ID and year equal to 2019. Such a tuple exists for ID 10101. For ID 10101, such a uh, this will return non empty. That means some tuples are selected. That means here when this ID is 10101. There is some other tuple which is having T dot ID is equal to S dot ID and S dot ID is equal to 2019. That means year 2019 and the same ID, some tuples. In that case, that is selected and 10101 that is selected. Okay. Now, what about the next one? 12121. That means Select ID from T just where year in 2018 to return 12121. But here see this T dot ID to S dot ID that means same ID with the 2019 as the year does not exist. In that, in that case, this one return an empty set, and in that case, this condition is fails and it will not return the ID. So, this is the way you can. Uh, accomplish this task and that is the importance of exist. Exist is very important as far as design of SQL is concerned.